Yeah. And I'm Michael, and welcome to Wolf TV. Here are your announcements for Thursday, October 5th, 2017. Tonight at 7 p.m., there's an orchestra fundraising concert here in the Joanna Ramsey Theater. It'll feature a selection of cello, vocal, and piano performances by WHS Orchestra Director Michael Leiner with special guest Ms. Portia Curley. For a suggested donation of only $5, you and your family can enjoy some excellent live music and help raise money to support your orchestra program. In sports, boys soccer plays Adam City here at Wolfpack Memorial Stadium. JV starts at 4.30 and varsity kicks off at 6.30. Tonight is senior night for the softball team as they take on Prairie View at England Park. Varsity takes the field at 4 with JV to follow at 5.30. Come cheer on your Westie Wolves to victory. Now, to give you all the information you need to know for the homecoming game and dance, we go to Andre Andrea Orduna with the lowdown. Thanks, guys. The homecoming game is tomorrow night here in Wolfpack uh, Memorial Stadium. This year, we are having a whiteout, so be sure to oh, wear white to support our Wolves as they take on Aurora Central. The game starts at 7, but come out early and to join the fun. With this year's theme of Alice in Wonderland, we are expecting to see a fabulous outfits as the dance. Don't forget, you must be eligible and have your ID at the door for the entry. Also, today and tomorrow are the last days to buy your ticket for $20 a piece. There will be no ticket sales at the door. Back to you in the studio. Tomorrow is Wolf's Day, so be sure to wear your class colors. Seniors black, juniors white, sophomores teal, and freshmen silver or gray. In this week's TGI Friday, Brandon has a pre-dance dining tip. Homecoming's going to be a wonderland of fun, but you need to fuel up before the dancing starts. Thanks to fans of Rick and Morty, I have just the spot. For a limited time only, McDonald's is bringing back their Szechuan sauce in response to overwhelming demands from fans of the Cartoon Network show. I'm not driven by avenging my dead family, Morty. That was fake. Uh -uh. I'm driven by finding that McNugget sauce. Nuggets. I want that Mulan McNugget sauce, Morty. Hurry and get yours before the portal closes. And that's this week's TGI Friday. Recently, the outdoor education class went on a three-day, two-night camping trip. Wool TV's Randy V. Hill was there, and this is his report on the trip. Colorado is known for its beautiful mountains, but for some, they are a totally new experience. I never went to the mountains before, and it was really fun. The outdoor education class took a field trip to Snow Mountain Branch last week for a three-day, two-night camping experience full of activities, from learning how to build a shelter. What is your favorite part about your shelter? What are you most proud of? That we all fit in. That you all fit in. That we all work Shooting a bow and arrow. There's a lot of cool things that you could do. Like one of my most favorite things is archery. To tubing down the mountain. <laughs> For one of the high school students, it was a sort of homecoming. As a sixth grader, I went to the mountains with Rano, and there I found um, that I wanted to do it again. And now that I'm a senior and I've been doing this for three years now, um, it's just really meaningful because um, I get to bond with the kid. The younger students get just as much out of the trip too. Bonding with each other and getting to know different people. It's really cool and I recommend you to come and have fun. Some even discover what they want to do in life. In the future I want to do something where I'm giving back to the community but as well I'm a role model to those and inspire them. I'm Randy V. Hill for Wolf TV. From the Future Center, here are their upcoming events. Representatives from the Daniels Fund Scholarship Program will present information to interested students in the Future Center tomorrow at 9 a.m. The CU Denver Pre-Collegiate Program is now accepting applications from freshmen to juniors. Check out the presentation on Wednesday, October 11th during AE to learn more about this amazing program that gives you free college credit and scholarship opportunities. Finally, on Thursday, October 12th, seniors are invited to attend a presentation by Emily Griffith Technical College to learn more about their programs they offer in the trades and how to obtain an apprenticeship. Stop by the Future Center located in the library for a pass to any of these events. On Friday, softball plays their final league matchup at North Glen. Varsity plays at 4 and JV takes the field at 5.30. 
Also on Friday, our cross country team runs in the North Glen Invitational at the Northwest Open Spaces. The first race starts at 2 p.m. Next Wednesday, October 11th, there will be a GT parent meeting at 5.30 in the lecture hall. Be sure to let your parents know so they can get all the information they need to know about the GT program. And now here's the word of the day, inevitable. I wish I was Jasmine today. Sandy, it's inevitable that you'd be chosen to be Mulan. Alain, you don't even look like a princess. And that's Wolf TV for this Thursday. Thanks for joining us. I'm Anicia. And I'm Michael. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.